All right, now it's no secret that singles sometimes feel especially alone on the holidays, but this year, because of the Ministry of Health guidelines, single people will have to stay apart from their families and friends too. So how can they cope with the mental difficulties at times that are supposed to be happier? Well, joining us on Skype, we're joined by Israeli psychologist Dr. Camila folkosh levan with some answers. So why do the holidays evoke difficult feelings like sadness and loneliness when they're supposed to be happy? Yes, so it, it's, a, it's a big problem in general for many people because exactly what you mentioned, it's supposed to be happy and there's this expectation of uh, everyone's a couple and there's a family and almost like a cultural pressure in a way. And, and it makes it very difficult for people that, first of all, they might be uh, single by choice or single that it just they didn't just find, happen to find a partner yet. Or maybe they lost their partner. And there's many, 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 there are many stories behind everyone each one of our lives yes mm -hmm. including why someone's married or not married or with a partner or single yes but the the sad or interesting thing is is that when a single person comes into a group of people including their own family instead of family often the discussion is surrounded by why are you single in essence mm -hmm. and how are you especially in israel <laughs> exactly and what can you do to not be single? As if it's some kind of a flaw of a, of a human to be single. And it's not, because originally we are all single. And at some point, some of us decide or not decide or it works out or whatever, however, whoever looks at it, that we decide to be with somebody. And even that is not for sure. That's for the rest of our lives or mm -hmm. not. Like Nobody knows. It would be very important to, to take this time of Corona, especially to reflect on ourselves and how we also talk to others and to welcome those that are single and talk to them about them, about themselves. And about not their about lives. their status, their them. relationship status. All right. So I guess what I would like to know is just, you know, uh, what advice do you give to people, to single people right now um, who still are feeling lonely despite everything that you just said? I think it's very important to reach out to others. We have Zoom. Uh, it would be very nice if someone wanted to, I know there are some people that are already that I'm assuming more and more are doing this, but it would be very good if someone would take upon themselves to either reach out to the friends that you already have that are single, not mm -hmm. only, but also specifically that are single, mm -hmm. uh, or maybe to put on Facebook or Instagram a call for people who would want to join a, a, a center through yeah. Zoom or through WhatsApp, uh, even uh, some of the robotics said that for for uh, for specifically for Corona, Zoom uh, uh, is an option for holidays. Some believe it is, some believe it isn't. There is a discussion about it. But what I'm saying is, is that there are there is that option to maybe do the hack and and do join yeah. and still the power that. of and Zoom. After the after power after of Zoom. Before. All right, Camila, thank you so much for joining us and everybody enjoy the holidays. All right, now. Thank you. Thanks, Andrea.